The truce village of Panmunjom, where the signing of the armistice ended the Korean War nearly 70 years ago, is a good barometer of the current mood on the Korean peninsula. When we visited three years ago, border guards and tourists were clearly visible on the North Korean side. Today, no one, as the North has virtually cut itself off from the outside world since the start of the pandemic. Even more recently, they won't, I've not even seen them come out of the building. It's... The demarcation line that leaders stepped across amid summit diplomacy hopes three years ago, now weeds grow on the northern side of it. And in 2019, the military dispensed with their weapons and helmets in a further sign of improving relations, with the hopes soldiers from both sides of the line would be able to mingle freely. Today, that still hasn't happened. Well, they were never able to come to an agreement on that, so that did not wind up developing. The only signs of life on the northern side, farm workers in distant fields. But on the southern side, with restrictions because of the pandemic and the fear of swine flu being lifted, this border area is accessible once more. As one of the world's most heavily fortified borders, the DMZ continues to fascinate and people are expected to come back once more in large numbers, just as relations across this divide enter a new and unpredictable phase. For some, that's the attraction of such a hot border. New hiking trails have been created. A new observation post has been opened for visitors to peer into the north. And new attractions like this cable car offers rides into previously restricted areas, once you've signed an agreement to stick by the rules. A ride to spend time in the middle of the minefields on a tense border that current developments seem to ensure will keep up the tension levels. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, on the Demilitarized Zone.